CRO. Yes. Okay, next. It is a pity Juja, Roiro, Kimbo Road has never been tarmacked. The roads are terrible. We need change in Kiambu. Another one. Kabogo is my preferred candidate. I can vote for him. Our MCAs are the ones who are letting him down. This is Steve. Okay. Moving right along. I'm a resident of your county and a student at the SGR program. I'm currently sent home for the fee arrears and I've sent three letters to your office. I tried booking an appointment, but in vain. Kindly look into this. I don't know who this is. We'll put the name. Monica, I think. Oh, well, this is another one that says, Does Kabogo know a place by the name Gashere? No roads and no maternity. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know Gashere? Yes, I do. Okay. Moving right along. Some tweets, maybe, perhaps. Here we go. We're tweets at Tiang Eli you say ask Governor Kabogo whether there is a possibility of him working with Waititu through consensus oops Aida Wanjiro ask Kabogo his agenda on eradicating alcoholism especially in Kimbo Roiro. Good one there, Aida. Maina Wamboy, you say sports facilities like Kirigiti Stadium haven't been developed. Kids have no. Place to be kids. What's the plan? Arson Morgan, you say. What happened to Gatukoyo Kairi Matara Road? It's in a pathetic state. Tractors were removed from the site long ago. Mm -hmm. And Augustine, you say, Governor Kabogo promised he would create 50,000 jobs within his first year at the helm. Did he achieve it? Okay. Right. There's also some Facebook. Governor, it's been a busy, busy yeah. social media day. Justine Mwit, you say, kindly ask him this. If he wakes up on the 9th and he's not the governor, is he ready to accept mm -hmm. and move on? Mm -hmm. no, Good one, Justine. Benjamin Abima, you say, JKL, kindly ask him to get Mandaleo Chap Chap party ticket as soon as possible. Babaya will be on the ballot with a Jubilee party <laughs> ticket, okay? Karua Dedan, you say, what are you going to do for Kiambu County that you haven't done in the last term? Mm -hmm. And the last, oh goodness, I'm going to need a microphone. Yeah, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it coming. We'll keep at tweeting it. at yeah. Governor W. Kabogo, at Koinanga Jeff, at Susan TV Kenya, hashtag JKL, questions for the governor. governor. We'll get to those in a moment. Yes. You've got a, a gist of what they were asking, right? Let me ask you one and then we'll, we'll, we'll get into those. Last time yes. when you ran for governor, you ran against individuals. You trounced them, obviously. You won your governor. Mm -hmm. This time, they've literally all ganged up against you. All of them. Most, all of them, basically. It makes but, it easier for me. Uh, okay. How so? I mean, it's easier to deal with one uh, group as one person than to deal with many individuals from all over. Once I'm done with them and the nominations, there'll be no more elections for me. Speaking of nominations, yes. they don't even want you to pass that stage. They don't want you to make the nominations. They, they would have to force themselves through the ballot. If they stop me through the ballot, I'm good with that. But as you've seen the polls now, the polls before, um, it's, it's all over. It's written on the wall. Speaking of polls, Governor, let's, let's go back. Monica, we have a poll, right? We have the, the comparison six months ago and today. Yes. Six months ago, you were down. I was busy working. I was not politicking. I was working, Jeff. The latest I saw it eight months, six months ago, right. and I said, oh, damn, I need to do some work here in politics. And you did. I, I need to quit a little bit of my so seriousness. Six, six months office. ago, you were at 22%. They said, 
Waitito was at 33%. The same polling agent, actually. I mean, he was at 49% yes. in, in, six months ago. Yes. Undecided were 18 then. Yes. F last month, you are now up at 46%. Waitito is down to 33%. Nyoro, by the way, was 8% six months ago. Now he's at zero. That is very serious, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a person who asked you, would you work with Waitito? Would you work? I mean, what is the animosity? I, I would work with anyone, Jeff. Uh, anyone who is willing to work with me. Uh, of course, given certain parameters. Um, uh, we can work with people who are truly willing yeah, to work. Yeah, but, but you don't like but, each but other, do you? Many, you don't uh, like each other? Uh, we don't love each other. You hate him? I don't hate him. I dislike him for some of the things that he says. Like? Some of the things that he does. Uh, attitude, behavior, uh, forcefulness, uh, imagining that uh, you are the only one, uh, no one else uh, matters. Uh, but all in all... Uh, Politics aside, if he shows some seriousness in introducing himself as a gentleman and probably uh, coming through to show that there is something he could do with others, uh, just besides rhetoric and, uh, and, and just, uh, you know, uh, talk, we could work together. This is a man who called you governor. He called you a criminal, a murderer. Yes. And a drug dealer. And this this is a guy you're asking me, Jeff, if I could work with. And you said you could. Uh, I said if he behaved differently, I could work with him. But he called you but these do you names. you expect him to change? If he hasn't changed at the age of 55, uh, how do you expect him to change now? Why did he call you? Drug dealer? Why did uh, he call you murderer? He must be sick. That's the least I want to say about that. I, it's a matter before court. It uh, is. In fact, you uh, went to court on March the 9th. Yes. And the court overturned it. No, it didn't. Yes. That, that's what he says. The court. ruled that the Kiambu governor did not present sufficient grounds to justify the issuance no, of an injunction. No, 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 That's what media reports, Jeff. The matter is still in court. All the court said is that we put in our papers, which we did, and we're waiting for a date. Uh, we put in appeal the other day, um, stating that he continues to howl insults and repeat the same uh, de derogatory uh, language, uh, or, uh, projecting a lot of ignorance on the matter that is before court. And, and the court said, um, uh, let's hear the entire matter. Yeah. So very soon, uh, very soon, it's, it's going to hit it like a rock. Yeah. Yes. Governor, the other thing that people have a problem with you is they consider you arrogant. They uh, say because this man is so filthy rich, and there are people who are tweeting that apparently you can cook githeri for a week with the kind of money you have. I'm not sure where that comes from, Dad. <laughs> but it's, it's a good prayer. that uh, It's not bad to be rich, Jeff. I, 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 really I, would know. I, I would know. But about arrogance, uh, you know, people are entitled. their opinion. Are you arrogant? But I think Are you I'm, arrogant, I'm Governor? Firm. I'm not arrogant. I'm firm. True to the fact. I'm very, very firm. So that sometimes may people may construe that to mean that I'm arrogant because I stand for what I believe. You need to talk to me. You need to negotiate with me and make me change my mind on something that I've said. Yeah. Uh, I'm a team player. Uh, so really, 
Arrogance is out of the question. You look like a difficult person to approach. People say uh, this. They say so, Jeff. Uh, I want you to understand that the job of a governor is not uh, uh, the job of a kiosk uh, uh, person that you may just sit there and look beautiful. It's a, job that you, it's a job that you need to be tough. You need to understand what it takes to do what you need to do. Uh, you can imagine, Jeff, we started government three years ago, three and a half years ago. There was absolutely nothing. There are still governments, 37 government in, in the country. Some of them have not even found their way to forming a functional government. And to get things going uh, with the attitude that was there before, uh, uh, the attitude of the former, you know, the defunct local authorities, it was anything, anything was good to go. So really, you have to be tough, you have to be firm, and uh, you have to get results. Do you think you're going to get past the nomination next month? Past the nominations? I will go past the elections on the 8th. I will be the governor of Campbell County until midnight, uh, the 8th of August, uh, and uh, uh, one second after midnight, I will start the new term, Jeff. This is a young lady who said, if you wake up on August the 9th and you're not governor, what do you do? Do you um, walk on? Do you move on? Go, move on, go back to business and continue working hard and probably contributing to my you know, country's development. Yeah. Uh, because this is a great country and um, uh, it's our time to give ourselves and, uh, and give our best to, yeah. to, to this country. Speaking of business... So really, whether you are in office or not, mm. Kenya is a, is, is, is a great country. So you will accept the results? If, 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 if there is a fair and free election, and, uh, which I hope it will be... And, uh, what makes you think reason, it won't be free and fair? No, I haven't said... Uh, I, I don't think it will not be. I have said it should be. It shall be. And if it's not, we'll deal with it. Yeah. Um, but I'm comfortable that I will get an easy win. Yes. They're, they're, you're saying you go back to business, Governor, and there are people who have questioned your source of wealth. Again, we talked about you being it's, it's filthy Jeff, rich. Jeff, mostly, it's, it's criminal in Kenya sometimes to be rich uh, because you have to start now telling everyone uh, from this kiosk, this is the business I did. From that kiosk, that's the business I did. But I have worked a long way, Jeff. I started working at the age of 22 uh, in Mombasa. And I have worked all these years very hard. I'm now one of the real estate developers in Kenya. I don't brag about what I do. But really, I don't do that business that these people want us to yeah, think about. They, they, they do say that a lot. Uh, why, why do they this, say that, Governor? This comes from the year 2002, when I was vying for MP Juja. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, that was the first time a helicopter was ever seen in, in, uh, in campaigns. And... Um, uh, the Honorable Dichu, uh, uh, Stephen Dichu, and his team. These are the guys who started this talk. Why would a young man fly all over in a, in a helicopter? Where would he get all this money from? This guy is married to Moao's daughter. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, by the way, Moao doesn't have a daughter. He doesn't have one. My it's wife is not, a, um, is not a daughter of Moao. So this is all just propaganda. And this propaganda was supposed to sway the vote then. It didn't. It was supposed to do it in 2007, it mm. didn't. 2010, it didn't. 2013, Jeff, it didn't. This is my fifth election, Jeff. I don't know how many people have done f five elections. Uh, you must be really uh, what it is, you know. Yeah, Governor, there's about 10 million people watching you right now. Yes. Would you swear to the people watching, to Kenyans, many of them are your electorate, that you've never sold drugs? Jeff. Uh, you don't even need to ask me that. I'll swear on my child. And you know, uh, I've known you for a long time. I've known you since when you were in CNN. Mm -hmm. And I've known people say things about Jeff, you know. Jeff did this when I was at CNN. And you know yourself. You know whether you did those things that you didn't do. But people just rumor Jeff. Uh, but those rumors, I put them behind myself. If I had sold drugs, if I had done anything criminal, Jeff, I would have seen the inside of jail. I mean, how smart can one be that uh, you, you live in Kenya, you do drugs in Kenya, and you still walk free? Mm. Uh, I live a criminal free life, Jeff. Uh, but uh, I have no regrets of being wealthy. I mean, it's not a crime. Do, not does, it, does it bother you? Does it hurt you when uh, people throw all it this? It bothers me when people speak nonsense. 